them mm -hmm. that will allow them to do a better job in taking care of these dependent children. Mm -hmm. And we have worked with uh, various aspects of correction with the State Department of Correction, mm -hmm. and we have worked also with the Davidson County Sheriff's Office, mm -hmm. where if we have a uh, parenting program in place now with the Sheriff's Office, and mm -hmm. of the past, we dealt with parenting and job readiness mm -hmm. training with the State Department of Correction. Mm -hmm. So what we do is to advocate strengthening mm -hmm. the family arrangement where inmates can have a better relationship mm -hmm. with their children mm -hmm. and can parent from a distance. Mm -hmm. We know that um, many inmates come yeah. into the city from far corners of the state mm -hmm. and so their children are unable to visit with them, mm -hmm. but they can keep in contact with their children and mm -hmm. really keep abreast of what the children are doing mm -hmm. with their lives. Uh, we have a nutrition education program for which we received a uh, little better than a quarter of a million uh, dollar funding mm -hmm. for to really enhance the awareness of individuals where they would change their behavior, mm -hmm. where they would eat more healthy mm -hmm. and will purchase their foods and be more aware of what is involved when they go to do their shopping at the supermarket. Now, so, so all of these are part of uh, Family Life, uh, the extension program, and you actually carry this program out into the communities. You, this is not a program that you uh, invite folks in to, for the most part, but you are actually out in the community meeting the parents and et cetera. What are some of the things that uh, you might be able to tell us, and I'm almost sure that we're getting, uh, making preparation for our first commercial break, but uh, with your background dealing with the elderly and, the, and, and grandparents, what are some of the things that you might be able to say are some of them are probably the least understood 